Welcome, dear friends, to Kardec Radio, nourishing your soul 24 hours a day. My name is Greg, and the name of my show is Spiritism, Healing, and Meditation. Thank you for joining me. Kardec Radio is 100% volunteer-based. Your donations are welcome. You can go to kardecradio.com where you can visit us on Facebook. We have over 4,000 podcasts there to nourish your soul anytime you feel the need. Thank you. So today's theme is going to be Karma Yoga. What is Karma Yoga? From the Vedic tradition, karma yoga is yoga of action. On one level, karma yoga is is a form of service. And we'll explain this in terms of spiritism, which I'm sure by now you probably can already know the references to spiritism in service, which we would call charity. So I will be reading from the uh, Gospel According to Spiritism, a quote. But first I have a quote here from one of Emmanuel's books, and I'm sorry I don't have the reference to it. I was, I jotted it down one day and I put it in, in my file of, of Spiritist quotes and I didn't write down the reference. But it says, Do the good and all the evil that affects you will turn into good. This is a very profound statement that this is the true purpose of an incarnation. It is the result of of our expiation. It is the actual reparation of why we came here. It is the repairing. So the actual repairing through service is what heals our para-spirit and our soul. And we have a beautiful quote from the Gospel According to Spiritism by Alan Kardec. And it says, Doing good without ostentation holds great merit. Hiding the hand that gives is even more meritorious. It is incontestable sign of great moral elevation, for in order to view things from a higher state than the ordinary, one must look past the present life and identify with the future life. In other words, one must place oneself above humanity in order to renounce the satisfaction that seeks to be witnessed by others and to wait for approval from God. Those who prefer others, approval to God's approval show that they have more faith in others than in God, and that the present life is worth more than the future life, or even that they do not believe in the future life at all. If they say otherwise, they act as if they do not believe in what they say. Kindness, skipping ahead, kindness without ostentations, has a twofold merit. Besides material charity, it portrays moral charity. It spares the susceptibility of its beneficiaries and enables them to accept the benefit without bruising their self esteem. And it safeguards their human dignity, because they will accept a service, but not a handout. Now, changing a service into a handout because of the way it was rendered is to humiliate the one who receives it, and there is always pride and malice involved 
in the humiliation of another person. True charity, on the other hand, is sensitive and skillful in concealing the benefit rendered and in avoiding the least harmful appearance since any moral offense adds to the suffering borne from need. So we see from that perspective the great value of charity. And karma yoga is consists of the, the word itself, karma, which is action. And also action can be subtle action as well. It could be prayer. It is a form of action. It's activity within the material field. And we have the word yoga, which means union, the union of action. So karma yoga and this charity from spiritism both have a goal to, through the action of helping others, as we said, to do the good and the evil that affects you will turn into good. To do the good will affect our, us personally and our own personal evolution. So the karma yoga, the result of the karma yogi, one who is in service to others, results in this state of communion with God and union. Communion and union, yoga. So this is, in essence, what karma yoga is. The yoga of action. I want to read from Yogananda's book, a beautiful book, Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda. And he has some beautiful things to say about this as well. The idea of selfless service to all mankind and of renunciation of personal ties and ambitions leads the majority of Swamis to engage actively in humanitarian and educational work in India or occasionally in foreign lands, ignoring all prejudices of caste, creed, class, color, sex, or race, a Swami follows the precepts of human brotherhood. His goal is absolute unity with spirit, imbuing his waking and sleeping consciousness with the thought, I am he, he roams contentedly in the world, but not of it. Thus only may he justify his title of Swami one who Swami, one who seeks to achieve union with the Swa, S-W-A, or self. It is needless to add that not all formally titled Swamis are equally successful in reaching their high goals. So this is from Paramahansa Yogananda that the goal is the same service. And there have been many holy men that came from India, Paramahansa Yogananda, Maharshi Mahesh Yogi, who came out of compassion to help with their techniques of meditation for the West. Many of them found their way to the United States 
because they saw the United States. They were guided by God because the United States, for them, played an important role. We know this from Spiritism as the United States is the brain of the world and Brazil is the heart. We know this connection from our dear Spiritist teachings. And from other traditions, we see the same thing. The flood of enlightened men from India who've come here to help and bring the service they serve in God and by serving us to help. So I hope this is helpful in understanding the connection between Spiritism and Karma Yoga, the Yoga of Action. Thank you. At this point, we'd like to go into our, our healing part portion of the show. And I would suggest that if you can, to sit comfortably like you're going to receive a pass and just listen to the guided meditation. And first, I will be playing the Schubert Ave Maria just to help settle us down. Dear Heavenly Father, Mother God, 
dear Master Jesus, dear good spirits, the high order spirits, thank you for being with us and guiding us always. Thank you for being here with us, Kardec Radio, in this program. We ask for your healing presence as we work our way through our physical body from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. We ask you for your divine blessings, your healings of our soul, our para-spirit, as well as our physical bodies, the final expression. Let us put our attention at the top of our head. and release the tension there and just relax the crown area. You can take a few breaths slowly in and out. To help that process relax. Now let us move our attention down to our face and relax the facial muscles. Just let them go and not mind. And to our neck muscles and the tops of our shoulders. Release that tension and let it go. And in our minds, our busy minds, let us just let go of all the busy thoughts. They will be there later for us. For now, we want to just let them go and let our mind just let go and relax. Moving down to our chest area, let the muscles in the chest and the upper back relax. Feel the tension just moving down and out into the earth. Moving still lower to our abdomen, and lower back. Just let the tensions and knots that have accumulated there and worry, just let it go. Let God have those worries for now. Moving to our upper thighs, relax the tension there and our knees and our calves. And finally, feet. Just let them relax and just melt into the floor. Now as we are more relaxed, just let us feel the energy 
of the good spirits around us. Let us feel the power of God, the healing stream of God that exists forever around us and within us. O oh, Master Jesus, please be with us and guide us and help us. May your healing hands come over our souls and cleanse them and heal them. May this be a healing path from you directly. May we feel the wonderful, bright, brilliant light and warmth coming from the Master's healing hands. If there is a specific area in your physiology that needs healing or attention of some sort, see the divine hands of the Master Jesus healing that area and filling it with light and filling it with love. We feel the love coming from Jesus. We feel the love coming from God. God loves us unconditionally and wants us to love ourselves unconditionally because we are a child of God. We ask for realignment from time to time to remember these things, that we are a child of God. We love and approve of ourselves. Thank you. So for just a moment, let us feel the healing coming from the Master. Thank you. Let us take a moment to slowly open our eyes and come back into our material world. Welcome back, dear friends. Thank you for joining me in this show, Spiritism, Healing, and Meditation. This is show number three. We wish you a blissful day, a healing night with the spiritual mentors, we wish you all good things, and thank you for joining me, and we will see you next time.